a lot of your focus is how does this help, you know, the hundreds of millions of Americans. And and obviously it's through industry and various kinds of interactions. But say a little bit about how each of these map to kind of what your hopes and goals are relative to kind of American citizens broadly. Right now, I assess that most Americans are more scared about AI than they are excited about AI. I was in St. Louis yesterday. It was in Illinois last week. But when you talk to the everyday American about their life, their job, their job security, will their kids be able to get a job? The anxiety is pretty high. Uh, parenthetically, my niece just graduated from Columbia Law School. I went to her graduation. It was all exciting. You know, that's pretty fancy. Columbia Law School. She's like, Auntie, am I going to have a job with AI? So I think that's high anxiety. And and by the way, we cannot let, even if AI could replace every lawyer, and I'm not saying it could, but let's say even if it could, how does that serve our country, right? People need to have good jobs. That We can't maintain a democracy without people having an opportunity to have a good job. So what's my point? My point is the greatest challenge of our time, and I believe this from this point forward, is figuring out how do we use AI to discover medicine more quickly, to bring healthcare to people in their home more effectively at a lower price, to educate children at the highest level, no matter their income level or whether they live in rural or tribal America or New York City? You know, how do we do all that exciting stuff? without endangering people's way of life, making sure that people have a good job and without, you know, some of this truly scary stuff that I was talking about. And we're in the early innings, you know, like right now, as we move towards an election, there really aren't any penalties for deep fakes. I would, this deep fakes as it exists, but AI is that to the, you know, 10th level. There aren't penalties. There's not a lot of enforcement. So misuse of AI, I worry, I worry that misuse of AI will get out of control before the government has any kind of real, you know, regulation in place. And that will sour people's experience. And if it sours people's experience, it's tough to get adoption. And if we don't have adoption, then we don't have innovation. 